Can you please give us an update on KFLNA public health current outbreak status? Uh, thank you. Uh, it's a fluid situation. Uh, it's an active investigation, so this information is changing day by day. Uh, but just to recap, we, we received notification of a couple of members being positive in our community. Our nurse detectors were able to show an association of these individuals, which was just on June 19th, where we heard of our first positive. Uh, and we were able to show that some of them had visited a, a Bin's Nail Salon in Kingston. We went in and tested at Bin's Nail Salon where we had six positive workers in that environment. Subsequently, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who have uh, attended and got services at that venue who have tested positive. Uh, and there's been three individuals who are household contacts who have tested positive as well uh, of these employees. One worker has tested positive uh, that had social interactions uh, at another facility called Kingston's Nails in Kingston. And we have asked uh, that anyone that attended on the 17th or the 21st to 25th, uh, please get tested. Uh, and we've had one positive client as a result. We do think this is a low risk environment. Subsequently, we've seen further spread, so generational spread within the community. So one member has had one, two, three, four, five, six positive cases at a local golf course called Amherst View uh, Golf and Country Club uh, in Loyalist Township. Uh, we've had evidence of transmission from an employee at that facility uh, to a member that had been golfing. So as a result, uh, we would ask that anyone that attended uh, Amherst View Golf and Country Club uh, and uh, uh, was golfing there on June 22nd, the 23rd or the 24th, please uh, get tested at what, any one of our assessment centers, whether it's at Lennox and Addington Community General Hospital uh, and tomorrow, Canada Day, we have testing in the morning at St. Lawrence College and isolate yourself until we get the results back. It should be a quick turnaround time. Our labs are working very hard uh, to, to get the, the turnaround time as short as possible. Uh, and um, monitor your results. If your results are negative, um, we're going to do further analysis. If anyone else turns positive in, in that exposure, uh, we'll give further advice. But it's early days. We do think it's a low risk environment uh, and we've only had one person that's had evidence of transmission. The same holds true for George's Nails in Amherst View. So there was one employee who, who had a social contact with the employees here. Um, we don't have a, a lot of detail on the risk uh, at George's Nails at present. And in an abundance of caution, we're advising that any member of the community that went to George's Nails uh, since they've been open from the 12th, obviously, to the 25th when they were closed, um, that you, again, test. Um, isolate yourself till you get your results uh, and if we see any evidence of transmission at that location we will advise the public whether they have to quarantine for a longer period of time. We do think the exposure risk is low both here at George's Nails and Kingdom's Nails and we think the risk is low here but clearly this is a fluid situation. We'll be working over Canada Day over the next several days to aggregate the results uh, and give further feedback to our community on risk, uh, testing, duration of uh, isolation or quarantine if required. So I uh, have to thank the community uh, for the testing done to date uh, and to the adherence of the best practices on masking and good hand hygiene. That will put us in good stead, in a very good position. So we had a high number of cases early on. Uh, June 20th, 21, 22, and now we're having very few cases despite aggressive testing. So it looks good for our community that we're limiting the spread. Uh, the adherence to best practices will only prevent uh, this virus from uh, spreading person to person. I am asking our community to remain um, uh, with the good practices of physical distancing, masking in public, masking if you go inside any business, uh, good hand hygiene, monitor for signs and symptoms. Those basic prevention strategies will keep us in good stead. And we, again, promise to keep you informed and aware uh, of the unfolding uh, of this, our second wave uh, in KFLNA.